two shows, one comedian. Daniel Tosh brings his provocative humor to downtown Syracuse's landmark theater. Daniel Tosh is hilarious. He's very sarcastic. Uh, he's not afraid to tell it like it is. I love watching him on TV. Every time I see him, I gotta watch him. Watching him Saturday night, nearly 6,000 people. Tickets for the two shows sold out in just days. Folks say it's not often someone as big as Daniel Tosh comes to town. Oh, it's awesome that he's very close. Usually to see like big stars, you have to travel all the way to like New York City. Credit this to the new look landmark theater. The Syracuse Treasure was closed for nearly two years, undergoing a $16 million renovation and expansion. It reopened in November with a goal of attracting larger Broadway type shows. And all the buzz surrounding the theater is reeling the stars into Syracuse. We really did a lot of marketing out to the promoters across the country that we opened what our new technical specs were. So while big time performers like Daniel Tosh making their way to Syracuse is certainly a big deal for the Landmark Theater, it's also providing a huge boost for downtown restaurants. It's awesome because they all come in and they're smiling and they're looking forward to whatever they're going to do later. Um, so they get something to eat, have a couple drinks, and then they go do their thing. We've talked to the parking lots and restaurants all week, you know, letting them know numbers, giving them numbers again. Everybody had contingency plans. And the fun doesn't stop with Daniel Tosh. On tap at Landmark Theater in the coming months, performances from Daughtry, Bonnie Raitt, and Johnny Mathis. Reporting in Syracuse, I'm Chris McGrath.